So you have a Sanyo Roku TV and you have an issue with your Wi-Fi. Maybe you were watching an app or maybe you were watching Netflix and all of a sudden it was working fine last night. You got up this morning and now you're watching it and you're getting a, um, your Wi-Fi is basically saying it's not connecting or no connection. I'm going to give you guys several solutions to get you up and running right now. And by the end of this video, most of you guys are going to be up and running. So first thing I want you to do is go to wherever your modem is. Okay, so here's my modem right here. This is a router, is a modem. But with the modem, what you got to do is simply just pull the plug. Okay, so you can see that I is currently on right now. You can see it on. You can see it blinking. What I'm going to do is go ahead and pull the power plug just like this. Pull the plug. Leave it off for 30 seconds. Okay. After 30 seconds, go ahead and plug your modem back in. And then you want to go ahead and give it like a minute or so, wait for everything to connect. And then after you plug your, um, your modem back in, after you wait a minute or two, go back to your TV and see if you no longer have any uh, connection or uh, Wi-Fi issues, okay? Now, if you're still down, you're still having issues, then we're going to go to the next step here. Okay, so for this next step here, there's two things that we have to do. First thing is we need to go and access the system operations menu. And then the second thing we have to is go ahead and um, reboot the TV using a, a special key combination on the on the remote. Okay, both of these last steps require using a special key on the remote. So watch very carefully. So the first thing again, we're going to go ahead and access the system operations menu. And how you do that is very simple. Okay, watch very closely. Okay, so go ahead and grab your remote, and it has to be a Roku TV remote. If you don't have one of these, then you have to get one. You can get these replacement Roku TV remotes for like under $10 on Amazon. Anyway, grab your remote and this is a special key combination to access your uh, system operations menu. It's going to be this. Here's the home button here. So you want to tap on the home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then you want to press on fast forward, then play, then rewind then play, and then fast forward again. So it looks something like this. Home button, one, two, three, four, five. Then fast forward, play, rewind, play, fast forward. We'll do it together. Ready? Home button five times, here we go, ready? Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Fast forward once, play once, rewind once, play once, Fast forward once and then give it one second and then this menu here, this window, this uh, should appear here. Now if you look on top of there, it says system operations menu. So go up to system operations menu, click on OK. Now from this window here, we want to go up to network menu right there. Click on OK on the remote and now go up here where it says disable network pings. I want you to highlight that. Now I want you to click on OK and it turns from disable to enabled. Now my I enabled my network pings. Now Leave it just like that. Click on the uh, home button here. And now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and restart the TV using another key combination on the remote. This time, it's e this time it's easier, okay? So this time it's going to be this. Home button five times. One, two, three, four, five. Up once. Rewind twice. Fast forward twice. Do it together. Home button five times. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Up, rewind twice. Fast forward twice. And then you can see it all acting funny. It's going to freeze on this, uh, this screen here. And then what's going to happen, eventually it's going to reboot twice. And then once your TV boots back up, go ahead and check to see that you, you no longer have any kind of uh, internet issues. Now this will work for, like I said, most of you guys, if it worked for you, let me know what step worked for you and give me a thumbs up. If it didn't work for you, give me a thumbs down. I'm going to say that we should have at least a 60% thumbs up and probably 40% thumbs down. Good luck, guys.